Hey guys, be sure to press like and subscribe. Um, today I want to talk a little bit about inflation in the Philippines. It's definitely becoming a problem here a little bit for some of us living here, the expats and the Filipinos, both. It's starting to hurt us a little bit. And I'm seeing it in the meat prices. We're seeing it a little bit in the, in the um, rentals here in the Philippines. Used to be you could rent a place, and, and, you, and you saw it yesterday, I, I posted a, a $100 rental. Um, that's a brand new rental. And then I, I posted one today that's a $60 rental. And keep in mind, when we started renting ours, okay, it was brand new for $60 a month, okay? And now they're going for about 100 for about the same size. Granted, the area is probably like a, a, a little bit better. Um, it's, it's a nice area. It is pretty close to uh, um, a jeepney terminal. So that does make make a little bit of a difference, you know, because there's, there's going to be pollution and noise. But the jeepney terminal is like kind of up in the air right now because uh, whenever it rains, it just turns into a mud pit. And I guess they're going to leave it unpaved, which people aren't going to aren't going to use it that much. I mean, they're not even going to pull in there because it's just just a field full of mud, you know. But anyway, so I, I don't know what's going to happen with that as far as that goes. But when we were there the other day, you really couldn't hear the jeepneys and stuff because it's far enough away. The pollution might come over a little bit. I'm not sure because um, the wind does tend to blow that way. But it is a nice, a nice, a nice little area, anyhow. Um, it's it's a cute little area, and you know it does have some shields from from noise and from road noise and stuff. Like that. I didn't see any roosters around there or any of that. But anyway, to get back to the inflation issue, the inflation issue here. We're noticing it in pork. We're noticing it for um, milk costs, um, butter. In the restaurants, the, the food has probably gone up a little bit more than usual. Um, McDonald's has, has pretty much stayed stable, which is amazing. They, they might have gone up a little bit, but you know, I mean, I've been here for three years now, and then, like I said, this is my second rodeo. So, I mean, I'm seeing prices here definitely going going up a lot in three years more so than what it should have because and i think part of that is because of the current mess that's going on in the world you know who knows but that's that's a big issue i'm seeing like like some things like like plants which is really weird go way up in costs i'm seeing clothing going way up in costs okay um i notice i thought there'd be a lot more sales and stuff on things and I noticed that there really isn't that much on the in the sale department because, for whatever reason, maybe they weren't making those product those products during the the you know the, this mess. And now all of a sudden they're starting to you know sell all, all the old stock that was sitting in the back room or whatever. Not quite sure, but I'm noticing that the prices. Were, I I thought they'd be at like a ton of sales and stuff like that because people haven't been going to the malls and everything. But uh, you know everything's gone up everything's certainly gone up i mean i'm seeing like i i think some people are trying to overcome their losses maybe that could be part of it um still though as far as the house prices go i mean it's still a bargain here in the philippines for a house for for one bedroom at a, at a hundred dollars for a brand new apartment that's a steal you know um is the philippines still affordable hell yeah it's affordable <laughs> It's really affordable compared to back home. I mean, I remember when I was living in Massachusetts and trying to live back there. I mean, it, it was it was pretty expensive. Everything was expensive, you know. I mean, you went into McDonald's, you know, and their dollar menu just disappeared, kind of. Basically, they don't have that much of a dollar menu now. It's like a two dollar menu or something like that. I think I'm not sure, you know, what, what's going on back home. But I remember when I when I left, the dollar menu had shrunk to just like a couple of items. It was hardly anything on there but i remember getting a big mac meal and you were paying like eight bucks or something like that for a big mac meal which is kind of ridiculous for a large big mac meal and over here you pay like maybe for a large one probably about maybe four or five bucks i'll say and then they have cheaper items on the menu i mean you can get like for two dollars you can get a meal over here at mcdonald's with chicken rice french fries and a drink that's that's a deal you know, I, you know, I must say that's that's a really, really good deal, and 
you know, so the, the prices over here, they're still cheap. They're still way less than the United States. I don't know what it costs for uh, a value meal at McDonald's. Now, if any of you guys could comment about what it costs for a Big Mac, a large Big Mac value meal back in the States, I'd love to know what the price is. I, I, I'm hearing it's about eight bucks, maybe nine bucks. And I know if, if you go on some of the highways, they charge almost like 10 now. That's what I'm hearing. So that's, that's expensive. So for over here, you know, for for 250 pesos, you know, you get yourself a really good meal over here. You know, and if you want to, if you want to save, you get the chicken meal with rice and French fries and a Coke for it's like a, I think it's 102 pesos, which is what a little over two bucks. You know, and 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 the street meals that you can get here. I don't know if I, I'm not a big street meal person, but I I I, I see street meals that are fairly cheap and reasonable. You know, you can get some really good deals here, but I just don't trust the, the food on those things. I, to be honest with you, I went to um, one of the big burger chains up in Manila and I got sick twice at the same restaurant, you know, because I went there once before. I wasn't sure if it was that restaurant. Obviously, it was that restaurant. When I, when I went there the second time, I got sick again. So their cleanliness, there's a, definitely a cleanliness issue and, and it's in Manila. Um, you know, Manila is not the cleanest place in the world. You know, it's, I mean, I, I gotta say this though, Mall of Asia, and that's in Manila, is, is very clean, spotless. Um, I went to the mall near the Trump Towers there. That's, that place is, is, is extremely spotless and very clean, nice stores. Um, but I, I do notice things going up. There are things going up that the, the, the the um, tricycles have gone up a little bit. Not exceptionally, but they've gone up a little bit. Jeepney rides have gone up in the past three years a little bit. Uh, but they're still keeping those prices down pretty pretty well. And, and you know, and I don't know, in three years, I, I think we've gone up a little bit more than, in, than 10% in inflation overall, overall here. I'd say maybe as, even as much as 15%. But it depends on the area you're in too, because in Mindanao, they're not having big issues with, with meat prices, I'm hearing, not as much as we are here. It's actually cheaper down there because they have a lot of pigs, they have a lot of chickens. Whereas up here, you know, there's a shortage of them, it seems like. But, they, you know, it, like chickens are going way up here. It used to be when I came here, you, you know, you go to KFC and stuff like that, it was, it was fairly reasonable. It's still pretty reasonable compared to the States. But, but here it's expensive, you know, because people here are living on, you know, I'll say seven dollars a, a day to ten dollars a day, something like that. Some people are living on, you know, it's it's not. I mean, some people making like eleven dollars a day. It depends on where you work, you know. Like a McDonald's employee it doesn't make very much. They live on almost nothing, you know, and. Back home, people get fifteen dollars an hour, you know, and you're lucky you, you don't even get that here per day, you know. I mean, that's that's just the reality of it here. But you have to remember the costs are totally different here. The costs of everything here is not like back at home, and it's really weird. It's almost like being on another planet in some ways because when you look at the housing here compared to back home, for us back home. For a one bedroom apartment of about the same size in Massachusetts, you're easily gonna pay $1,000 unless you're in Western Mass or some, some you know, rinky dink town in Massachusetts that, that's way out of the way. You know, but like for here, I live in the provincial capital and it's $100, you know, for a decent place down the street here or 60, you know where we live and for a bigger apartment we we'll pay like 70 but we pay in advance too so we get a little bit of a break it would usually be like about 80 or something i think we pay like around 70 if I'm, I'm, i don't recall it's right around there anyway but i just wanted to talk about that a little bit today because things are changing here but things are also changing in the united states so you know it's one half of this one half of the other you know so if costs go up in the united states it if costs go up in the United States and they're going up here, you know, what does it matter? You still got the same thing, same issue. You know, I mean, so when you come here, you're going to save like 90% in your rent, 
depending on where you go, you know, if you go to Dumaguete or Cebu, you're going to be paying more. But I mean, if you come like to some of, the, some of these other places, you're going to save a lot of money. And it's just, it's just something to think about, you know, but as far as retirement, yeah, this is, this is, this is still the place to come guys, you know, um, I get some more videos coming up soon. Um, I get some really good subjects coming up and I just want to bring this one up because people have been asking about, you know, how's the costs because of the, the virus stuff going on? How, how is, how are things going? You know, like is, is everything really high now? Is it still worth coming over? Yeah. Yep. Anyway, guys, God bless. Take care. I hope that helps everybody, but take care guys.